back. Welcome back to the Dashing Investor YouTube channel, where we're all about positivity and finding out new ways to make more money with DoorDash for us and our family. So today, guys, uh, the video is all about the top seven, seven essentials that you need as a DoorDash driver. You need to make sure you have these on hand before you leave the house. Do not leave the house without these. Don't do it. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and jump into number one. And number one is supplies. You're asking supplies. What supplies do I need besides my vehicle and my phone? Well, here's what I mean by supplies. Uh, and you may or may not do this now, uh, but if you're a rookie, um, DoorDasher, or you're thinking about starting, make sure you have these. And some of you veteran DoorDashers may not have thought about this either. But what I mean by supplies is you want to make sure you keep on hand extra utensils. You want to make sure you keep on hand extra straws. And the reason you want to do that, hey, you know, Restaurants forget those things and it may be right in the instructions from the customer to make sure you have um, Hey, make sure you uh, you have a straw for me or make sure you have plastic utensils. I've seen it in the instructions So sometimes the restaurant may forget to put it in there or you in a rush You picking up that order and you may read the notes later or whatever We all out here trying to get this money as quick as possible Um so you may already be at the house before you look at the instructions and be like, oh, man, they want it extra. Uh, make sure the, the, the utensils or the straws was in there. Um, so you want to have those on hand because you never know what people are thinking. Hey, he didn't get my fork. He didn't get my straw. Boom. One star or two star rating. There you go. You got a low rating for something that could have been avoided simply by having it on hand in your car. And what I do usually when I grab a straw for a customer, I, I grab four or five more straws for any future customers. And I'll just keep them in my, my side door. Or if I'm getting a couple of utensils uh, for a customer, I grab three or four or you know, if I'm in some kind of fast food restaurant, um, I'll just walk over there and grab a few. Um, don't grab their whole stack and, and just grab just grab an extra two or three. And as you do that over time, you, you always have some extras on hand. So also part of supplies, what I have here is <laughs> cup holders. I have a stack of cup holders on me because you're going to run into those restaurants where you have drinks and you ask for that cup holder and they're not going to have cup holders. I know Smoky Bones and a few other restaurants don't have cup holders. I don't know what's up with that. Why you wouldn't have a cup holders. That's crazy for your customers. You know, you you got to go drinks, but you ain't got cup holders. That's crazy to me. But anyway, they don't have it. So. You got to make sure you have your own back out here. So again, how do I get these cup holders? Um, a lot of uh, fast food restaurants, they'll just have cup holders laying out there so you can uh, pick up a two or three cup holders when you grab uh, a cup holder for the current customer. Also, what I do, um, if the restaurant does give me a cup holder, when I get to the customer's house, I'll actually take the drinks out and place them on their porch with their food and take the cup holder um, with me. So I even have these type cup holders from Chick-fil-A where I've taken the drink out and just placed it on the porch uh, with their food and drink. I think the customer's fine. I think they can handle getting their drinks off the porch without it being on a on a cup holder. So um, that's how I get my extra supplies such as uh, cup holders and straws and 
utensils um and then also i have this is just a little something different but i have a little box i have a box like this um i do catering jobs so uh i got this box i have a few of these boxes from from panera um and what i do um if i have a lot of lot of bags i'll place it in this box and when i'll take it to the porch i can just take this whole box over there uh, to the porch again time is money time is money so i got four or five bags or something and then they're, they're not packed into a big bag um i'll put them all on this little box and take it so if you come across anything even if you're not in the catering program or anything like that if you come across a similar box or anything like that snatch it up just put it in your your supply um list there and keep it back in your trunk or wherever you keep it and because I'm pretty sure your journey of delivering food is going to come in handy sometime or another. So, yeah, you want to keep those plastic utensils, those cup holders and those straws handy because you're as a food delivery person, you're going to need it uh, sometime or another. So, yeah, those are the supplies. When I say supplies, that's what I mean. And that's how I get those supplies. So number two. Uh, super big um, is the phone charger. So you want to make sure you don't leave the house without your phone charger. All you need is your phone going dead. And then now you have to stop or pause your dash. Um, and now you're losing money. You know, you thought you was going to work five or six hours. Now you didn't, you know, depending on where you live, you didn't lost out on that time. Uh, now, if you're only going out for maybe an hour or two and your phone is fully charged, uh, you may be fine, you know, but I don't care how long I'm going. Out. I'm a, I'm a go, I'm a, I'm a make sure I have my phone charger <clears throat> and don't be like me, um, go on Amazon and then find the cheapest phone charger you can find because I don't recommend that because I've done it. And when I buy those cheap phone chargers, they'll literally last a couple of weeks and then they're done. So, so I finally, after I went through a couple of those burning out in the first couple of weeks, I went ahead and just said, man, let, let me go ahead and just spend another five or $6 uh, on a good phone charger. So I don't have to worry about my phone dying in the middle of a shift. And this charger now I've had it for about six or seven months now uh going strong uh so yeah make sure you never leave the house without your phone charger even if you're doing a short shift just have your phone charger on you um so you're never caught without that and i i know me i use two phones um just in case doordash app is glitching or whatever i like to have two phones on me so i'll rotate the charges in between um that so definitely make sure you have that phone charger number three very very important uh, you want to have a blanket or towel i prefer towels myself uh what do you need that for well you need this to put in your passenger seat so i'll take this old worn out towel that i have i'll fold it twice uh, and I'll lay it in my seat uh, for any spills or grease or anything, especially if you have fabrics, fabric seats. Last thing you want is some coffee or some kind of drink or grease food, whatever it may be spilled on your fabric seats. Now, I have leather seats, so it's a little bit easier, but you still have those little crevices and all of that. I don't want that in my seats. So something you need to have is a towel like i say you just double fold it and lay it down flat in your passenger seat and that'll help protect against any spills now i always have two i keep two towels on me um, one is to lay in the seat and one for is for cleanup so you can either keep another towel or you can have a roller paper towels me myself i have a towel in the seat, an extra towel, and the roll of paper towels. Because in your journey of delivering food, oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> you you gonna you gonna have something spill. Something is gonna happen. Like me, I had a, I had where 
Uh, I was following somebody in the rain. They slammed on their brakes. Uh, food went flying. Um, good thing I had all this on me so I could clean up everything because it would have been just terrible if I wouldn't have had nothing to clean up with. So, or, you know, you may get something from Starbucks and something, you know, you're, you're, you're trying to get to that delivery and you make that turn and all of a sudden the Starbucks spill over, especially when you just have that one drink and they'll put it in that cup holder where it's supposed to be two drinks. So now the bag is, is totally off keel. So any kind of turn you make, the bag flips down or flips over. And then here you go. Bam. You got, you got your spill. Um, so yeah, just make sure you have at least uh, two towels on hand if better two towels and a roll of paper towels for any cleanup that you may need to do um, you may need to, to wipe off the top of a coffee or a drink because a customer they see that type stuff and they be like oh what are you doing drinking out of my drink or something oh and here let me give you a low rating for that you know pe people think all kinds of stuff you know so just to kill all that just just have your your towels on hand and to protect your passenger seat or wherever you may have, you keep the food there. Um, do not leave home without those towels or you sooner or later will regret it. So yeah, um, let's move on to uh, number four and that is hand sanitizer or in my case, I like to use rubbing alcohol. So yeah, you know, we're, we're filling up at the gas station. We're touching all these doors all day long and just touching everything all day long. So the last thing you want to do is get sick and then be out of work and then lose those earnings. So Something simple to have on hand just to help protect against that is have your little bottle of hand sanitizer or like I say, in my case, I keep the the big bottle of 70 percent alcohol because I, I mean, myself, I don't really trust the what uh, hand sanitizer to use. I know they're supposed to have 70 percent, but you never know what they're putting in the hand sanitizer and it might not have that potent uh ingredient that it really needs which is basically the alcohol so i just keep my little trusty bottle of alcohol I'll, I'll put a little alcohol on my hand rub them together real good kill germs throughout the day um just again you know help fight against those germs because you're, you're not thinking if you you rub your mouth your nose your eyes or whatever boom now all of a sudden you're sick and again like i say you out of work and you lose those earnings so yeah I think that's definitely another important thing you need to have on hand and do not leave home without. Now, number five, you want to have, um, now in my case, I fast all day, so it's no big thing, but I know everybody don't want to do that. Um, so the next thing is just have a little low cost snack um, on. You could be peanuts. It could be fruit snacks. It could be popcorn. It could be any thing like that you know and then have your little bottle of water or whatever your favorite drink is you know just have that on point our last thing you want to do is go out here and every time you work spend money on expensive fast food or some other kind of food or you know all that you know because that will add up and cut into your earnings so yeah just just take the time take the time to go to the grocery store take the time to go to walmart and pick up you some low cost snacks and for that same 10 or 12 dollars that you spent on one meal at fast food or whatever now you got something that may last five days for you um it just that's just my thing you know do do what you want to do with your money but i i can't stand to go out and put these shifts in and then um go to one of these restaurants and spend 10 or 15 dollars on a meal maybe call me cheap or or whatever that's just me you can take that advice or 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 leave it or whatever you want to do is your money but me you know hey just have a little low cost uh snack on hand just to as you're smelling all that good food and all of that and your stomach start grumbling and 
all of that. Now you got just something to throw in your mouth. Uh, keep that up off you. Um, have a little something to drink. Um, so yeah, me, like I said, me, myself, I fast my whole shift. So it's no big deal. And I've been doing it a while. So it's no big deal. I can smell all that food. and It doesn't, doesn't bother me or whatever, but, uh, but yeah, just have your little low cost snack on hand. Don't be going out here spending all this money. Uh, especially if you work in this thing every day or, and maybe all day. And there you go. Now you didn't bought say breakfast or a late lunch or even dinner out here. And before you know, you didn't spent 20, $25 of your earnings. So, you know, like I said, you can take it or leave it, do what you want to do with your money. But, if I did eat during the day, you best believe I would just have some little low cost snack that I can pop in my mouth just to keep the hunger off um, and keep my costs as low as possible. But um, so the next on the list is the good old delivery bag. Um, and you can take the delivery bag in if you want to. Sometimes that helps. Um the restaurant to see oh he's a door dash or i know a lot of us we do not i i think 99.9 percent .9 of us don't take these bags in the restaurant now when we come back out to the car we may put it in the bag um i know some people don't even do that but also uh, just another great thing this bag is used for is just to keep the order separated you know if you have two orders or a stacked order you have one in the bag um and one not in the bag just keeps you help helps you keep the order separate and also while it's sitting in your passenger seat since this is nice and square um just keeps everything a little bit more sturdy while it's sitting in your seat while you're driving making those turns or whatever just one less thing you got to worry about that food being sturdy sitting in your passenger seat so yeah like i say just a the good old fashioned DoorDash delivery bag, or if you you bought one all offline or online or wherever, um, yeah, just a good old fashioned delivery bag. Um, like I said, it comes in handy, of course, built what it's for, and that's to keep the, the food warm, but also um, just to keep these orders separated and keep them sturdy in your passenger seat. Um, so, yeah, delivery bag is great for that. Now, the next on the list um, is something just track your miles and your gas with, um, you know, and people like to use apps, you know, such as Solo and Stride. And there's a list of other uh, apps out here. I'll pop it up on the screen so you can see all the different apps. Um, so you can, you know, you're definitely for tax time. You're going to want to track those miles and gas so you can get those proper deductions. Last thing you want to do is not have have those numbers um and then there you go you're paying more taxes uh than you um need it to and all you had to do was keep track now me call me old-fashioned or whatever or not trusting or it might be a little glitch in the app but uh haha <laughs> yes sir yes sir i use the old-fashioned pen and notebook so when i start my shift I write down my miles. When I end my shift, I write down my miles. I write down how much gas I wrote that day, uh, used that day, and the date. Like I say, call me prehistoric or primitive or whatever you want. Um, yeah, I just don't want no glitch in one of these apps or something and throws off my miles or something. So I know uh, it ain't going to be no glitch, glitch in the old notebook and paper. So, uh, so yeah, but it's, you know, whatever you prefer, use the app. Like I said, I'm going I'm to uh, pop them up on the screen. You can choose the one you want to use. Um, me, like I say, I use the old fashioned notebook and pen to track my gas and my mileage. So yeah, guys, that's my top essentials that you need to have as a DoorDash driver. And make sure you do not leave home without these essentials. Or most likely, you're going to regret it down the road. And you just may regret it. You may watch this video, go out on your next delivery, and be, be like, bam! And, oh man, the Dashing Investor just told me to have towels 
He just told me to have those supplies and, you know, or it may be a month from now and it may happen. So just make sure you have this stuff on hand. Last thing you need is to regret that you don't and you're just sitting in the car like, you know, and hey, I told you. So again, make sure you have those essentials. Just make your job just that much easier while you're out here. So um, once again, guys, once again, and this is one of the most important things in all our lives when you set them goals for yourself keep your eye on those goals keep consistent with them goals keep focused on those goals look at that big picture and then set up those little goals to reach that big picture and knock them down and again don't let nobody get in your way that's no family, no friends, no spouses, definitely nobody on social media stop you from reaching those goals. And remember, no dream or goal is too big for hard work. You put that work in, you can make them dreams and them goals happen. Guaranteed. Just put the work in. Stay consistent and never give up. You can't stop, don't stop. Stay on them goals. And once again, guys, I want, as always, y'all to be careful out there and keep getting this money.